This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. It's okay, guys. We understand. You didn't make the choice. It's just what they gave you at work. You're stuck with it. You run a VM at home. It's totally cool. Listen. Some people we're, like we're okay. Windows. Some people you can like Windows. Still, you can still keep your stuff up in your cloud, <laughs> encrypted and all happy, and get to it with your secure SSH files. You can. You can shown us with Putty. Yes. Putty was free and easy. Putty, and I used Pageant, made my little... Um, Actually, I don't even need to use Pageant, as it turns out. We'll yeah, get to that later. We'll get on, get on right by that. Okay, so um, I can do my own SSHFS mm -hmm. um, program, and this one is called Expand Drive, expanddrive.com. It's a free, well free for 30 day trial yeah. executable file. Um, you can buy it, it's 40 bucks for just a regular license, but so I don't know, 40 bucks, how do you feel about that? Well, I don't know, how much do you pay for Windows? Um, You're on the Windows side, everything like, you do you have I to pay. Know, you know, bucks. I can play Tux Racer all day yeah. long, so take that Battlefield 2. That's true. Actually, I would rather be playing Battlefield 2. Although I guess I would rather pay 20 or 30, 40 bucks instead of pay for like 25 gigs in Dropbox. Oh yeah, Because that's per year. There this you is go. Just this is a one-time fee. Yeah. And now, so like, you know, whatever your, your so fee is at your virtual private server, or yeah. your dedicated or whatever shell you have up in the cloud, you got to consider that. I think it's less expensive. And you can it do is. more, because as we showed you, you can do your SOX5 proxy to secure your stuff. You can do your storage there. Uh, I've shown yes. how you can like run uh, IRC bouncers. We're going to be doing so much more uh, with stuff in the cloud, and I love VPSs for that. So, all right. So, starting on your off, side. yeah, starting off. So it gives you this nice little uh, page here. You have the choice of your drive type: SFTP, FTP, which is not very secure, Amazon S3, and Strong Space. I like to say that like Strong Bad. Because you check the email with your boxing check the gloves email. on. Yeah, exactly. So I chose F SFTP, and then down here you type in your server. For example, ours was Coconuts. Coconut. Hack5.org, and then I put in my username, whatever that might be. Oh, and you haven't set up SSH key pairs for this, so you actually have I to have type not. in a password. So can I have a password. Can you do currently? SSH key pairs in this program? Yes, you can. So, oh, I should not say password. That's no. Um, so down here, you have your port, nickname, of course, and then you can choose your drive letter that it will show up as in oh, okay. your Windows Explorer, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to choose, you know, S for snubs or whatever the heck you choose. And then right here, password, oh. public key, or you can the also pageant. use pageant. Yeah. yeah. So very, very handy. I'm really glad that this works with public and private keys. That makes it much much more worth the price in right. my book. So this is like not piggybacking on an already established SSH connection from Putty. Exactly. This creates its own. It creates and its therefore own, yeah. It I don't even have to have Putty open for me to be able to do this or anything. That's nifty. I can yeah. see why if you were using both the shell and the file system stuff, you might want to use Pageant. True. Because then you only have one thing you type your passphrase into and then they both can get access to that key. Yeah. Regardless, that's really cool that you can do that. And so that was it? What else yeah, do you have to do? Yeah, that was it. And then you just, uh, you can choose to eject your drive or you can show it in your Explorer. So now if I go to, whoa, my computer hates me when I record. There we go. Okay. So now if I go to computer, uh -huh. I have this, what looks like an external hard drive. Yeah. Awesome. Fact, as, as far as your applications are concerned, it thinks it's one yeah, of these. Yeah, it thinks it's basically another external drive of some sort, yeah. whether it's US USB or whatever. So click in here, and I have a nice GUI access to all of my files, which I only have one in here, of course, but ta -da. But we don't, I mean, what's to say there isn't like a bunch of steganographic stuff hidden exactly. in there with a little steganite action, there huh? There very well could be. There could be like an entire GPG encrypted message inside that. Hmm. You could have like you a never know. Anyway, we'll get into <laughs> that later, but. Uh, I just love the fact that this is so easy. It's only 40 bucks if you decided to use it, you know, after that 40 days or 30 days. And yeah, it's simple. I like simple. I do too. So there you go. You know, options. In fact, now you've shown servers for Windows and clients for Windows servers, on both sides. Clients, clients, servers, private and servers keys. and clients. <laughs> we are gathered here today, people, <laughs> to <Knowledge>. join <laughs> the servers and oh the my clients. Gosh. That wedding I went to this past weekend. With <laughs> the 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 best man yeah. <laughs> during his speech, he went, "Marriage." Marriage. <laughs> I was just like, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna we're gonna come back here in just a bit with your trivia and technologist photos of the week. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a quick break. 
I want to take a quick moment and thank Domain.com. They have been hosting Hack5 since 2009 in addition to sponsoring us and I got to tell you we could not be happier. They offer such simple domain registration without all the BS. They got virtual private servers in Linux or Windows. We've been using them here on the show for the, all these great segments. And they've got reliable web hosting starting at just $3.75 a month. And that includes all this cool stuff in the app vault where you can easily install popular software from the web like WordPress and Drupal and Joomla and all those other ones that I can't pronounce. They've got SSL certificates and they've got fantastic customer service. If you don't believe me, tweet at domain.com. You're gonna find out that not only are they huge fans of Hack5, but they're huge fans of happy customers. Use coupon code HAK5 to save 15% of your purchase or even a domain transfer over at domain.com. When you think domain names, think domain.com. It's time once again to open the email and then extract a photo from the email and look at the photo and say, hey, actually that looks pretty cool, let's put it on the show. And then we say, Shannon, what's the photo of the week? Yeah, only JPEGs though. No, no zip files, none of that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, .jpeg.exe, Anna Kornikova. <laughs> Sorry, went somewhere else. All right. with that. <laughs> anyway, um, Ali sent us this one. It's this really cool picture of a RAM city. I love it. I know, it's so awesome. I want to see Who like, has that much RAM see, just like, sitting five, around? All of us. <laughs> I only have like maybe 10 things, sticks of RAM. I've got. So I don't have oh, that what many. What are they called? PC100, and I've got the little guys, the EDOs. Wow. I've got a bunch of EDO. I used to have some that would go on my MCA board for it, my XT. I don't know where that went. That's insane, dude. Hey, how much RAM do you have laying around, Paul? Probably about six gigs. So, I got yeah, but six one. gigs in like increments of 256 meg. <laughs> yeah, that's all my old computers. Yeah. Yeah, I think all of mine are like two, two to four gigs. I, I just love I it. I want to see like, want to see the webcam like travel over the top of it to like the like yes. to orbitals, um, how on and on and on Ooh. and be all like. Dee, dee, and then the hackers logo. Crazy. And the, like sorry, <laughs> you know it was the nineties. And that happened. if you guys have pictures of Ram Cities or your kittens or dogs or pretty much anything, you can send them to feedback at hack5.org to share your delicious Technolust photos. And subject line Technolust, it helps us uh, find them in the mix. In the mix. In, the in fact, actually, mix. just put the episode number if you're doing feedback on like proxies True. and things of yeah, that nature. We've gotten helpful. a lot of great feedback on the proxies. We're combining all of those things into like follow-up episodes because we've learned a lot as yes. we've been teaching a lot and other stuff. I and mean, we're all learning and teaching and teaching, learning and the anyway. servers and the clients. Trivia. And, sorry. Yes. Tangent. Last week's trivia question was, Microsoft developed a 3D graphics arch architecture in the late 1990s. This architecture was called what? So wait, you're not talking about DirectX. You're talking, they actually created a board? Apparently so. It was called Talisman, which kind of reminds I, me of Sailor Moon. I Sailor Moon S, that. that is. Anyway, this week's question is, both 4G technologies, 3GPP, LTE, and Mobile WiMAX, rely on this to make efficient use of the available wireless spectrum. What's this called? Are you talking about anything that might happen to be orthogonal? Shh. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, uh, hack5.org slash trivia is where you'll find the... Uh, Poorly in need of updated page <laughs> where we still The one make... where people still answer the question about what pandas eat. Which really? is a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because sometimes we ask about pandas and what they eat. People still ask that Have question. Have you ever seen them sneeze? Oh, I they're love so the cute. I know, right? Baby panda sneezing. Awesome. We're okay. just making the episode longer <laughs> at this point. We do value your feedback, so I can't talk anymore. We do value your feedback, so email us over at feedback at hack5.org. You can let us know what you think of this show, what you like and didn't like, if you hated it whenever we talked about baby pandas. Or... Yeah, what snack scores you have when you watch the show. Of course. You know, what what your best high score is on Dust 2 you with don't an really AWP. You all that. Um, yeah, keep, you know, it, keep it short. Geeky stuff. Yes. Yeah, but short. What else do we have, Darren? I don't know. Um, ASL? No, I'm joking. Uh, you should head over to, um, to hack5.org slash 1111. This is your last moment to find yes. out that there's the party like tomorrow or something by the time you're watching this. May 3rd, May 3rd, so May 3rd. Excited. As well as while you're so there, excited. go to slash follow. You'll find all the social networks where we hang out and, and draw things Yay. with friends. And something. if you do really want to draw, draw something? Draw something? I've been drawing something okay. with you. Oh yeah. 
I'm winning. No, you're not. Wait, we both win. Shut up. Anyway. You just lost. <laughs> the game. Ha! <laughs> Yes. All right. And we also um, really appreciate it when you guys support us directly. You can do that over at hakshop.com. We have t-shirts and all sorts of really cool hacker gadgets. So make sure to check them out. They keep us going. So if you like what you see, they you really do. Along yeah, with us. that keeps us going. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, without further ado, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your techno lust. Plus copying is in the me. Hour long. <laughs> I was like, we're all guilty what? of it. We've all done it. <laughs> I know. And marriage. <laughs> marriage is a place of harmony. <clears throat> yep. Marriage. Rah! Marriage. Rah! Oh my god, Rah! its mouth opens. Rah! That's awesome. Rah!